Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see who the universe is sending into your life next. So who does the universe want you to be with, want you to end up with, whether it's a new energy or an existing energy. We'll see what the cards reveal to us. I also want to mention there's going to be a part two to this reading and part two is going to explore those details. In, sorry, those uh, messages in a lot more detail. That's going to be made available via the extension link below. So depending on what messages come up for part one of the reading, we're going to dive deeper into those messages for part two. Now, for those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and connect. My email address is going to be listed just below the video here, also where that show more section is. Um, otherwise, guys, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and take a look. Who does the universe want you to be with, want you to end up with? These are some very interesting cards here. Okay. Um, now, first and foremost, I feel like I want to begin this by saying if the universe is making you wait for something or for someone, trust that. Okay. Trust that whatever you are waiting for or whoever you're waiting for is worth the wait. And, you know, and if the universe is making you wait in this instance, it might just be that much better than you initially anticipate. Okay, so this person, if you are waiting, which a lot of you are, I feel like this person, it's almost like you're waiting for someone to come back into your life. You're waiting for someone who maybe has walked away from you. You're waiting for them to do some work, do the realization here. And you're waiting for them to come back and, you know, as a healthier and happier version of themselves. For you and for themselves as well or you're waiting for your soulmate that one true love you know the one person that you've always wanted and wished for so whatever it is that or whoever it is that you're waiting for understand that it's the reason why the universe is making you wait is because yes they're worth the wait and also something here is going to unfold so much so so much bigger and better than you've imagined trust me okay even as you know grand as your imagination is it still can't compare to what's coming for you so it's so much better than you would have imagined yourself here so understand that there is you know a purpose behind this weight speaking of waiting as well that it could also be that some of you need to do some work okay during this period of waiting around for someone whether it's someone from the past because for some of you i feel like maybe you're waiting for someone here who has turned their back on you and who's walked away someone who's ghosted you or someone who's sort of just given up on your connection or maybe you were the one who has walked away from them not that you've wanted to but you feel you felt like you had to because otherwise had you stayed it would have been this vicious, vicious spiral that you guys just sort of you know um escaped not escaped but it would have been this vicious cycle that you guys would have gone down in so during this period of waiting i feel like if you are separated from someone from someone here from this past energy that you're waiting on um, understand all is not lost here with the two of cups okay i know you're still very hung up okay on what's happened between the two of you i know you're really hurt by this you're also very hurt and saddened by their silence here, the fact that they're not responding or they're not, you know, uh, reaching out or communicating here. Um, you're still, I can see, it's almost like you're still replaying here what has happened or the day that they walked away or, um, you know, I, I can see that the emotional wounds are still so fresh and still so raw and they're bleeding into the present. And I, there's a lot of emotions here, okay, that I feel like you're still experiencing but it's best that you find a way to externalize them rather than internalize them because whatever you don't feel or you don't you know work on will only surface later down the line so perhaps there is some 
whether it's stemmed from this relationship, from the specific um, connection here with this energy, but perhaps there is still some unhealed emotional wounds that still fester, some trauma here that needs to be worked on here. Okay, and a part of that may have been the reason why things have broken down between the two of you because you need to sit there and you need to confront some of these issues that still are, you know, running around in your subconscious. And you think you've buried these, okay, you think you've forgotten these here, but you haven't. It's still running around in your energy or their energy here. So I feel like this is a part of the journey where you have to, that you have to go alone at it. I feel like you need to sit with your pain, with your emotions, with this discomfort, you know, and you need to confront or these insecurities, you need to confront that so that you can become the best version of yourself. You can become a healthier version and you can, you know, eradicate any of these issues that are hindering, you know, your growth as well as the growth of this connection. If these are issues from previous past relationships, okay, then I feel like you still haven't made peace with a certain conflict or you still haven't worked through some insecurities. And if you notice um, or if you take some time to reflect, um, yes, maybe a part of you was, you know, you always were, not that you were attracting the wrong person, but you kept getting involved with the wrong person and maybe you just wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt and see the good in them. But there were also, underneath that, I feel like there was also a layer of self-sabotaging behavior there, there. And maybe, you know, you somehow, whether on a subconscious level, felt like you were never really good enough or you, you didn't deserve love or you, you didn't deserve a healthy relationship. So that's why you have to treat not only the symptoms of what this is, but also the root. And, you know, whether this is you waiting for someone to come back to you or whether this is you waiting for a new energy to come into you, to, to come into your life, sorry. In the meantime, you might just not be ready for it because I feel like you need to take some time to be intentionally single, to be on your own here so that you can do some inner work. You can do some healing here, okay? Because you're exhausted and you're just, you feel beaten down and you just feel like it's just driven you to exhaustion. You feel fatigued here, okay? But, and you're also sort of this, you're in this, mental prison of sorts where I feel like your thoughts are sort of keeping you there you need to escape here this this energy that is coming into your life or that is coming back into your life is exactly whom you've always wanted okay it's if you're trying to manifest a, pa a past person back into your life here um, or if you're trying to manifest a new energy, I do feel like this, it's almost like this person will be a manifestation of your thoughts, your, your dreams here, your wishes. Okay. So it's almost like you've brought them, your imagination here has brought them into life, into the physical realm. So you can have this person that you want, this ideal partner, this ideal relationship, your thoughts create your reality. You can have that here, but you need to be in alignment here. You need to be in alignment with your higher self. You need to be align in alignment with your your you know your needs here, your desires here, because you are you are creating your reality. You are the the magician, the alchemist here. And I can see that there is something so magical about your you know this connection and what you feel towards them and what they feel for you here there's just something so magical about maybe the way that you've met or the way in which you will meet here and if you haven't met this person just yet i feel like maybe it's because your person is much like yourself is going through some things and if you were to meet at this point in time it just wouldn't work out because they may have recently have suffered a breakdown of a relationship or they may have some childhood trauma that they're trying to work on and if you guys meet at this point in time it's going to be stagnated it's not going to go anywhere and what potentially could have been a healthy relationship would otherwise break down and become uh, you know uh, jeopardized here so you just have to trust in the timing because I feel like there is someone so wonderful so special that is coming to you and there's just something so magical about this connection and just something so magical about this person's energy and just the way everything will come together will fit 
together will come back together here but you need to trust the process so again you know a watched pot never boils so if you're waiting if you're sitting there and twiddling your thumbs here it's gonna feel like a long time which is why you need to make really good use of this time like I said take that time to be intentionally single because what's coming for you is so amazing you don't want to miss it and if you don't do the work on yourself if you still have some of these insecurities or some of these unhealed wounds they're going to jeopardize something so magical something so wonderful here okay there you know if you still have issues or internal conflict it's going to surface later down the line and it could jeopardize as i've mentioned what potentially could be a healthy relationship okay guys so in part two of the reading we're going to explore more about this individual that is coming into your life or coming back into someone's life here because all is not lost okay it's not so if this is a past energy here um you know it, it, it there's still love there okay just because they've went away doesn't mean that their feelings for you have dissolved and gone away. And if this is a new person that you're waiting for, you know, in part two of the reading, we'll explore just, you know, how much they're worth waiting for. Okay, so follow me via the extension link below to part two of the reading. For those of you interested in the personalized reading, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for your time, your energy, your intention. Greatly appreciated. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.